Hello and welcome. So today we're going to take a look at the electro acupuncture devices and there's a range of acu electro acupuncture devices that we can actually take a look at and you're going to find the cost of these devices are going to vary from one um, device to another. So we're just going to take a look at some of the basic units that you can actually purchase. Um, you've got your more expensive units such as this one here. Now this unit um, will cost you round about between 250 400 pounds depending on where you're actually going to purchase it from uh, very good unit um, it's got eight outlets um, so therefore you can treat up to 60 acupuncture points at a time now the electrodes that comes with that are quite large and heavy so if you are treating or such as a podiatrist if you are treating foot problems then you may well find the heads are a little bit heavy depending on the size of the needle so you're going to have to tape them down once you've actually applied that you do find with this particular unit as well part of what you're paying for is the pre-programmed settings that actually comes with it so some of these are pre-programmed whether you're doing it for a burst or constant so it will vary from machine to machine you do find it's also got a digital readout it's also got a timer on here and it will also reset it back to the last couple of settings in which you've actually had the device set at so again quite a good um, machine you've got your um, intensity in which you can actually set here again you've got your frequency in Hertz as to what you can actually set now you're going to find different machine will go up to a different hertage this will go up to about 200 Hertz which is good if you're actually going to apply it for pain management however if you look at this smaller one which is used more so by physios this one will only go up to round about um, 500 Hertz even though it's smaller it will go up to a high hertage so very good for pain management in that respect and you're going to find particularly with this most of the pre settings that comes on here is primarily aimed at pain management however if you use your machine in a similar manner into which I would use mine I would mainly look at the rate of healing the quicker I can actually get something to heal the better so therefore out of all these machines the cheapest machine is this one all the way from China it is actually called a WAWQ 104L uh, and it's a digital um, again Scarborough actually sells these uh, instrument so again these are quite good very very good highly recommend this particular device out of these ones here for one simple reason is how you can actually make various adjustments on here so the adjustments you can actually make on this will far exceed these one of the main things you've got to think about is the polarity so that's where that actually comes in is the difference polarity in which the actual device will actually put out so if you notice on all your electrodes you have a, um, a positive and a negative now depending on the actual polarity in which you're actually utilizing in and around um, the area will determine as to what healing rate is going to take place now as far back as the 1800 they knew that the different polarity will have a different effect and that is quite important uh, with regards to the actual polarity itself say for example a positive so in other words if I want to enhance circulation to an area your positive is going to have a greater effect to enhance circulation to an area if I want to reduce circulation my negative is going to be more effective at reducing circulation if I've got a muscle in spasm my positive is going to be more effective at reducing that spasm so it's not just a case of putting the electrodes into place it's which polarity you put to that needle depending on as to what kind of results you actually want if I want to if I've got a fracture and I want to accelerate the healing of that fracture my positive more local to that fracture is going to be more effective so again if the swelling and it's an acute then I put more my positive and my negatives around that now what this particular device allows me to do now if you look at um, where I've got my polarity I can adjust that polarity what I mean by that is I can now change that so they're all positive yeah or I can change that to negative that one to positive that one to negative that one to positive so I can adjust it 
to suit as to what I, I want. What that basically means that once I've actually connected this, my lead into here, it means that even though I've got a red and a black or my positive negative, once I make that adjustment there, now what I've basically done is switch that so that both of these that comes out of here are now negative. So in other words, if I have a wound that's inflamed, I can put my needles around that wound, connect my negative to it, and what that will basically do is significantly reduce or help to reduce the swelling in and around the area. If I've got a chronic condition and I want to get more blood to the area, I can then change it to positive, and then what that's going to basically do is to enhance the blood flow to the area. Again, once you start looking at cellular activity with regards to your positive negative, you're gonna find your negative is your body's first line of defense. The surface of your skin is generally negative because negative is gonna be more effective at fending off bacteria. It's gonna bring more neutrophils to the area in order for your body to start to fight off bacteria and infection. And it's far better at treating infection than your positive. So key things to bear in mind is look at what you're treating, look at what treatment outcome you want, and then you can start to adjust the machine based on that as opposed to having a positive negative. Otherwise, what you've got to basically try to do is to put the negative in one place, the positive in another. So you need to be thinking when you're utilizing an electroacupuncture device as to what you're going to do with electrode. Don't just purchase them where you've just got a positive negative. I would say it's a cheaper machine but far more effective than the other machines. Don't get me wrong, it has got some Chinese writing on there, but you can ignore that. As long as you know what the settings are for, then that does make it that much easier. So what you have got here is more your intensity. So this one will actually control the intensity. You've got this button here, which is your on and off. Now what this will actually also do is allow you to stimulate up to a thousand hertz whereas these other ones will only do up to 500. Now if you're back in China you find the Chinese when they perform acupuncture in hospitals they'll utilize the device for acupuncture anesthesia in other words they'll do surgery utilizing these uh, devices to anesthetize the patient not generally used over here um, in the Western world or in the UK, purely because only as, uh, as high as 30 to 40% of the population will respond to that. So on that basis, they didn't feel it was a high enough percentage for um, them to go out there and use it on a larger population. So therefore, it's not generally used for that. And again, it's knowing which points to use depending on where you are in the body to perform the surgery, but they do still in China perform surgery utilizing devices such as this and that's pretty much what these designs devices are actually designed for so in other words if you're going to anesthetize an area very good devices for doing that which you're not going to be able to do with the other devices same again it gives you more control over um, how you want to physiologically stimulate the healing process so besides that <clears throat> you can adjust your pulse duration um, whether you want it continuous, burst, and same again, um, the strength of the pulse duration or the duration of that. So again, these will let you um, do that. You can also utilize it as a point detector by connecting this apparatus here, and it allows you to be able to locate the acupuncture points. I must admit, this normally stays in the plastic bag. Very rarely do I use it. Well, in fact, I don't use it at all, but some of you may well, um, who's newly qualified,